and not to mention you need internet connection so <clears throat> all these steps I'll talk about in detail in coming tutorials okay under the same category you will find more tutorials where I will talk about each of this step in a step-by-step -step manner with either screenshots or videos okay so these will be the steps that I'll be performing and after performing all these steps you will have an Oracle applications release 12 up and running so the first thing I do is I download a download manager because you will be doing lots of downloads a download manager will help you manage all the downloads the first thing we can download is Oracle Enterprise Linux okay and we can install Oracle ERP on Oracle Enterprise Linux <coughs> excuse me you can also install Oracle ERP on any other Linux which is compatible like SUSE Linux or, or Red Hat etc but I prefer Oracle Enterprise Linux then we're gonna download Oracle applications release 12 software so as you can see I'm doing all the downloads on the main using the Vista operating system I could have installed Linux first and do the Oracle download uh, from inside the virtual machine but that's gonna be very slow so I'm doing all the downloads from the main operating system not from the inside operating system I'm only gonna use inside operating system to install Oracle and to run Oracle okay so then I'm gonna download and install the, the VMware so server because this I prefer this vendor is most popular vendor for virtual machines uh, Microsoft has, has its own free version of uh, virtu virtual machine as well uh, but I prefer VMware so we're gonna download and install VMware and uh, once we have VMware server installed I'm gonna show you how to create and start virtual machine from the VMware once that is done we're gonna install Oracle Enterprise Linux on the virtual machine then we're gonna do lots of things on Linux to prepare it for Oracle application installation then what we're gonna do is the, the, the trick is the Oracle application has been downloaded on the main operating system but we need that download on the inside operating system the best way to transfer such big and heavy file is through uh, ISO image so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an ISO image from the external operating system and once in order to do that first I'm gonna download and install software uh, to create ISO image okay in this tutorial I'm gonna show you in detail what software I'm talking about and how we're gonna do that <coughs> once uh, software is downloaded we're gonna create an ISO image of the whole Oracle software download because when you download Oracle ERP is a huge download we're gonna create an ISO image of the whole download <coughs> Excuse me. now once we have an ISO image we're gonna access that ISO image through a CD virtual CD-ROM or virtual DVD uh, drive from inside your uh, virtual machine from ins uh, inside your uh, Linux operating system and we're gonna create an Oracle stage okay an Oracle stage has to be created before you install Oracle Oracle stage means you bring all the download files into a proper location there will be lots of subfolders within this Oracle stage and all the right files has to be you know placed in the right folders once that is done then it's an easy install we're gonna install Oracle release 12 using a rapid business uh, as the name of the installer uh, once we have Oracle up and running this is gonna be uh, a big tutorial okay it's, it's, it's the time consuming because install takes a lot of time so I'm gonna uh, show you in screenshots what ha happens at each and every stage but usually it's install run very smoothly if you have prepared the environment properly for the installation once we have Oracle up and running it's very important to scale Oracle down this is a trick I use because Oracle does not recommend that you run Oracle on 2 gigabyte okay it recommends you run at least uh, on, on 4 gigabyte or more but if you use this trick to scale down Oracle database you you can easily run the whole software on 2 gigabytes so that's what I'm going to show you how to scale down Oracle because when you install Oracle it's assuming that it has a lots of resources available when you scale it down then it can live properly within the limited resources now then we're gonna start I'm gonna show you how to start Oracle application services once that is done then I'm gonna show you how to configure your Windows client to connect to Oracle server now this client is a browser on your main computer on Vista so once Oracle services are up and running uh, through like within the virtual machine 
we're gonna use a browser on your Vista operating system to connect to your virtual machine okay so that's what the Windows client is <coughs> excuse me then we're gonna connect to Oracle server through Windows Vista and finally I'm gonna show you how to log into Oracle application so uh, these are uh, like all tested steps so if you follow all these properly uh, you will have Oracle applications up and running on your computer in next tutorials I'm gonna show you each step in a step-by-step -step manner okay so I'll see you in the next tutorial